Hey everybody, Will here, and welcome to another installment of my Project One Baja Bug series of videos. Now, in the previous video, you saw a friend of mine, Brian Lee, a local VW expert, tear apart my old 1776cc long block engine. Now, the purpose of that was to reclaim a few parts to be used in the new, larger 2110cc engine that was going to replace it, particularly the cylinder heads and the engine case. Now, the cylinder heads turned out to be good. After all, they were brand new high-performance head that I had installed during a top-end rebuild back around 2005. The case, on the other hand, was the original case that came with the car, so a few decades old. And unfortunately, it turned out it had just been through too many rebuilds and there just wasn't enough material to make it work in the new engine. The good news is that new parts are much more shiny and nice to look at. So now we head back to Brian's place to see all those shiny parts come together. In addition to its shininess, the new case is made from solid aluminum, making it stronger and more durable than the stock case it's replacing. Unlike the teardown process, engine assembly is a much more complex art. Parts need to be installed in a very specific order, surfaces need to be prepped with gasket, compound, or lubricant, and bolts need to be tightened with just the right amount of force. The crankshaft is the largest part to be seated in the case, and as such, needs to be test fitted to ensure that everything can rotate smoothly and unobstructed. This new crankshaft has an 82mm stroke, 13mm more than its predecessor, requiring it more room to spin in this raised roof case. With the crank successfully fitted, small dowel pins are installed that will hold the main bearings in place. The distributor drive pinion can also now be greased and then lowered into place. After a couple last minute pieces like the oil slinger are fitted to the crank, the bearings are coated with assembly lube and moved into position. The bearings must now be aligned to be seated with the dowel pins until everything is firmly in its place. The other big component inside the case is the camshaft. Geared off the crank, the camshaft moves the lifters up and down, which in turn is responsible for opening and closing the valves. The gears on the crankshaft and camshaft have to match up at a very specific point. This ensures that the timing of the piston strokes will match up to the timing of the valves. With everything installed, clearances are checked, parts are inspected to make sure they move smoothly, and the case is searched for any loose parts that may have found their way inside during assembly. With everything clear, the two halves of the case are prepared to be joined together. Prior to its first start, the engine oil will not be able to sufficiently lubricate all moving parts, 
so everything is given a thorough coat of assembly lube. Between the two halves of the case is only a thin layer of Forma Gasket, a sticky and viscous compound that fills in the tiny gaps between the two surfaces. And then, guiding the connecting rods through the holes in the case, the two halves are joined together. Unfortunately, that's all I was able to film that day with Brian. Now, after I left, he went on to install the cylinders, the refinished heads, along with all the little things like the push rods and push rod tubes and lifters. And uh, after that, I went to his shop a few weeks later and picked it up and brought it here. So next up in part two of the engine rebuild, you're gonna see me finally get my hands dirty once again and um, install all the things that have to go on the engine before it goes back into the car, which includes things like the carburetors and the alternator and the exhaust and uh, all that stuff. So that's coming up next and um, until next time, thanks for watching.